Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will um, dig into I mean not actually open it but uh, this lens uh, is the Fujin on a spherical um, lens is a nano <laughs> uh, GI XF uh, 16 to 55 millimeter 2.8 R lm w r uh, and there's nothing more i think yeah all the letters <laughs> it has a problem damage filter thread so if you look here this nice lens has a problem because the uh, filter thread is actually knocked into something a table or whatever maybe it's dropped uh, i don't know but I would like to show you how you can um, maybe um, and how good it will be uh, simply try to to make it round as much as possible so I can mount a thread I mean a, a filter on it again and for that well I could use a hammer I mean straight on the thread not really it would be maybe a little too much. Um, so what to do then? Well, I've tried some with some lenses, simply made a piece of hard wood, uh, just like a, a tool. So you can use a hammer to bang on it. And uh, it doesn't have to be straight like the other side here, but it has to have a curve. So the lens, uh, the front lens will not be damaged just like you see here it cannot at all at all uh, touch the the uh, front lens because I also make a curve in like this so um, and I mean I cannot just put it on my desk and simply put it on and and, and have a hammer and bang on it no so I think it would be safer to actually have make a jig uh, so I could actually have the lens on something. So I made it uh, out of some piece of plywood or uh, the angle uh, yeah, attachment thing. So I can uh, put the lens in a bed like so simply zoom out the lens and uh, simply put it into here so something like that and it really doesn't matter what kind of lens it is um, it would be the same case in in here and I think the the front uh, lens uh, I mean the lens thread filter thread is uh, kind of yeah it's actually really really uh, come out of of uh, angle so I would like to actually um, try to uh, use my tool here and see what I can do um, I just have to where the camera can see what I'm doing uh, and not damage my camera actually <laughs> So simply put the the curved, uh, I mean the the end here, direct on the thread, and align it in a way, something like. I think it should be there, and simply try to and have a good grip on this uh, this lens. So it will, it will stay into the 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 cutout I made actually. So let's see how it will be something like that. So let's see if it, how it will go. And yeah, you can see. And that way, it actually went out to be kind of 
really good. Wow, that was easy peasy. So is it possible to actually mount a filter on it? Well, we just have to find the thread in a way. Go a little backward to catch the, the thread in a way. And because I've made uh, I use uh, wood. I would be able to. I mean, I should be able to actually um, find the the thread here. Maybe it has to have a little more. Yeah, it needs something here. It's not full round, so I can just do it again. But uh, I think it's. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Just do it again. I think it will be fine. So something like that. Have it there. Just have it lined. So I think, I think it will be something like that. Let's do it again. Uh, not really. Yeah, it can, it can. I mean, it cannot be as it, as it should be new, but, um, as you can see, it is actually possible to make it kind of round. I mean, it was uh, absolutely much more better than it was. So I think uh, it's actually working. Yeah, I will. I will let it be for that. So you can see, it's actually possible to to uh, re. Uh, re-round uh, <laughs> a thread uh, so it, a filter it can be put on and in that way maybe also if one wants to go in, in the lens uh, it's possible to unscrew the name ring that's also a good thing so uh, that was actually all for me <laughs> So I don't know where you can buy those tools. Uh, you, I mean, I also have this uh, the um, the wise uh, that can actually spread. But um, in some cases it works. But you will, of course, uh, it, it push on each side. So it will uh, also have this uh, a more push out, and of course also the other. So I think this uh, way of doing it by uh, this way i mean it's very <laughs> uh, well i just use what i had and sand it and, and, and align it so it will be really good in this case so you can see not not really difficult to make and um yeah <laughs> that was all for me uh homemade tools and uh, just a hammer so um, I hope you can use this uh, info in this very short video in a different uh, orientation. Normally I would uh, do it in the other way, but I try to use it more in a portrait mode just as I go. So that's all for me. Bye bye.